So in this, in this chapter, we've been using the uh, explicit equation of the form pn equals p sub 0 plus d times n. And I just wanted to make quick mention that there are alternative notations that you might see uh, for linear growth. So one of them is, is what I'm going to call algeb standard algebraic notation. Uh, in, and so this would be probably what you saw back in your algebra classes. When you wrote the equation for linear things, you probably wrote something like y equals mx plus b, where m was representing the slope and b was representing the uh, y-intercept. So relating that back to what we have here, here, n is our input variable, and here we're using x as the input variable, and so x is playing the role of n. Here, d was the increase per year, which was our slope in our algebraic notation, and p0 is our initial amount, which is b in the algebraic notation. Now, likewise, you might occasionally see even this equation. So, for example, if we had the equation pn equals 800 plus 20n, in an algebraic notation, you might even see p equals 800 plus 20n, where they're just dropping the subscript n notation. Now, the downside of this is that if I want to ask what is the population after 20 years, here I can just say p20 equals. Here I have to say p win n equals 20, which is just kind of tedious, which is one of the advantages of this subscript notation. So another alternative is what's called function notation. And the idea behind function notation is the notion of, uh, what's called a function, which is, uh, you stick a value in and it, the function is a rule that gives you a value out. And so in function notation, we might write p of n equals in something, in this case, something like p0 plus uh, d times n, or uh, in a specific case, it might look something like this. Now, we read this as, as p of, that's not of, p, <laughs> sorry, p of n or p at n, or in other words, this is the population at a value for n. In other words, this is the value that goes in there. So if I wanted to know what is the population after 20 years, I would write p of 20, or p at 20. And this would tell me that the 20 is the value that's going to be going in for n. So when I evaluate this, I'd say 800 plus 20 times n, which is 20 as well. So this is function notation, uh, and, and you'll commonly see this used. It, in addition to p of n, of course, any variable could be the input variable. So instead of seeing p, you might see something like p of t. So if we saw p of t equals 30t plus 50, what would that tell us? That would tell us that, first off, t is my input variable, just like n was the input variable here. And p is, again, still the output or the population value. Now, in this case, 30 is the value that's multiplying the input variable. If we look back at all of our notations here, the value that's multiplying the input, right? The value multiplying the input is the d, is the common difference, or up here, what we called slope, right? It's really the same thing. Likewise, this value 50 is the constant value, the value that's not multiplying the variable, and so this is our initial amount. This is the value that would correspond back to p sub 0 in our uh, subscript-based notation.